Does your printer have a poop problem? If it's a bamboo lab, it probably does. It's one of the very few complaints about bamboo's multi-material system. You see, there's a huge amount of wasted filament when you use an AMS. If you stick with the default settings, you could end up with as much poop as you get print. Look, if you're really upset about the filament waste, this whole hobby is going to make you mad. I mean, there's a lot of waste of plastic here. Every time you have a failed print, every time you have to scrape off a brim, every time you use supports, it's all wasted plastic. So let me help you out with the AMS waste. We can at least start there. Stefan from CNC Kitchen just showed off a really neat filament recycling kit, but grinding and remelting your own plastic is still a lot of work and more than most of us really want to put into it. I think I'm going to stick with tuning my slicer and making peace with the poop, at least for now. For the most part, I've gotten my purge waste down to tiny drips. This is something you can totally get in there and fix by yourself. Now it's going to require a bit of patience and a little bit of experimentation. But I guarantee that if you follow my tips, we can seriously tune out the waste. And then I'm going to show you a little hidden feature in Bamboo Slicer that will help you turn the poop into something that's actually useful. It helps to understand why the bamboo poops. Every printer has the same issue when changing colors. Once the filament is melted in the hot end, it can only go one way, forward. You can only back out unmelted filament. Now, if you don't tune your settings, it's a crap ton of melted plastic going right out the poop chute. The default setting on Bamboo Slicer and Orca for that matter, are super cautious. It errs on the wasteful side. See, Bamboo Slicer doesn't actually know what color or opacity of filament that you fed into the AMS. It's just going on whatever information you gave it, which isn't exactly accurate. Even when you use a spool of Bamboo's filament, which has the, the RFI tag on it, it doesn't really know. They, they, they just haven't calculated that into the slicer and the, the purge filament. So let's take a look at flushing volumes. This shows how much filament will be purged to get a clean change of color from one to the next. Going from light to dark takes less, but dark to light is going to take more. I always change the multiplier to 0.6 and I save quite a bit of filament. I also edit the settings by hand. And this is something you may need to play around with on a small sample print. Use that infill. Under the Others tab are the flush options. If you pick Flush into Objects Infill, you can use that infill to soak up some of the color changes. I know, I know, if you've had a bamboo AMS for more than a few days, you've heard of this trick. Still, it's a good one to remember. Turning on flush to infill saved two grams on this print. Sure, every little bit counts, but this isn't enough. Printing multiples is another tip I'm sure you've heard of, but it's solid advice and great for people who are selling prints. Remember, the AMS only wastes material while switching colors. If one bird wastes 20 grams of filament, six will still waste 20 grams of filament. Hey, let me interrupt you for just a second. If you're enjoying this video, would you mind giving me a like? It really helps my little channel grow and I appreciate it so, so much. Thanks. Now here's the most interesting tip for preventing poop. Flush to object. There's a hidden feature in Bamboo Slicer called flush into object. You'll only see it when you right click a model on the boom plate, which is why it's so often overlooked. Clicking this feature turns the model into a kind of purge tower. Unfortunately, you still need the regular purge tower turned on to use it. It just won't work otherwise. The normal purge tower can be made smaller because it's still needed to wipe the nozzle clean. So I'll make mine 30 millimeters wide and 30 millimeter on the volume. And look at that. I saved about 25 grams of filament by turning wasted plastic into fidget toys. Now there's only 2.6 grams of poop hitting the chute. Bamboo's manual only has a line or two about this feature, and it basically says to use it if you don't care about the model's color. That's it. I don't know anything about the mechanics, so I kind of had to play around with it. 
First, you really need to watch the height of the purge model. Like these snowflake fidgets were stopping at the same height as the dragon's eyeball, making the top layer black. I didn't think I needed gauze snowflakes, so I adjusted the height until the top layer was back on the tricolor filament. And no, you can't control the color of the purge models. Its color is completely determined by the slicer. But sometimes you can lean into it and make it work for you. I think the friendly slugs look pretty good in stripes. You can use just about anything as a purge object. You'll get the best results if the purge object is the same height as the main model, or at least as tall as that last color swap. Of course, you're gonna need to balance what you use as a purge model with what you can actually find useful. Obviously having a bucket of fidget cubes that you won't use or sell is no better than a bucket of filament poop. When you're looking for a purge object, you have to consider why. Why do you want to reduce the poop? No, seriously, I want you to think about it. Why are you trying to save this filament? Is it expensive? Is it a one-of-a-kind roll of Jesse silk that you picked up at Earth and you're never going to see it ever again? Or do you just hate wasting your money and you don't want to see it flush down the proverbial toilet? Sadly, trying to get rid of the poop is pretty tedious. It's not impossible, but there's probably a line you need to draw where the waste is acceptable, or you're just going to drive yourself nuts. If you're trying not to waste expensive filament, you shouldn't pick a purge object with a high failure rate, like these slugs. Sadly, trying to get rid of the poop is kind of tedious. Sometimes you can't find a purge object that's tall enough to reach all the color swaps, or big enough to absorb all the waste. If you're planning on selling these poop traffic models, you might want to make sure that you have permission first, or make it yourself. I've made a nice fidget spinner on Tinkercad that will work with short things like dragons. The Friendly Slug, if you can get them to stick, is a copyright-free model over on Thingiverse. And so is this tall twist container and this planetary gear over on Printables. There are a lot more cool models out there that are going to require you to join a commercial level of membership. But if you want to fidget with a one-time purchase, check out this fidget bolt from Buckle and Shackle, and that'll cost you $15 to buy it one time. There's another poop saving method for you to try, but it's experimental and it requires messing around with the printer's G-code. Leon Fisher Skipper posted this profile on principles. Now I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but he claims you can save 60% of your flush filament from ever turning into poop with a sneaky retraction move made during the color swap. If you want to read more about that, I will put the link down below with all the other goodies. And maybe if you have time to check it out, please let me know, report back, because I don't think I have time to do that one myself. I got a lot of printers that I need to get back to reviewing. But if any of these techniques and tips do help you out, let me know. I would love to hear from you because nobody wants their plastic to turn into poop. We got, we got enough poop in the world. Oh, jeez. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye.